All right, good morning, one and all, one and, all and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, uh, this is going to be a short but rather quick video on a simple machine learning model to basically predict the news category. Uh, this is not a binary classification, but it's a multi-classification. So we're going to do a simple model uh, with a multi-binomial uh, multi uh, ML model, and we'll be putting the text into it, and we'll tell him, hey, predict the category of the news. Let's see this in action. First of all, we need to import these libraries which I've already done. I'm um, installing all the uh, different words like, you know, stop words, word net, average, uh, and all of that from the NLTK. Once that is done, I, I'm trying to see if there is any null values, and uh, sure enough, there are actually. Then I'm trying to see how many categories are there. So from here, I can clearly see there are more data sets about uh, politics than the other stuff. But it's fine, um, because this also might create a bias towards politics. Uh, which we don't want to happen, right? Because it seems like there are massive data for politics and for, for example, the education, there's just a little bit of the samples or the data set. Okay, that's fine. Uh, printing some of the, you know, stats, basically some describe dot uh, is na dot sum. So making sure that if, not, if, there's not, if anything is none. Categories, we have a categories, we have a headline, we have an author, links, uh, short uh, description and on all of that. All I need to uh, care is basically the category and the headlines. So yeah, I said, okay, print all the unique categories you have. So these are all the unique categories you have. Some pre-processing, removing, stop words, comma, full stop, all of that. Once that is done, I use Swifter because I wanted to apply all the data transformation to the pandas function in parallel. Because when you say apply, it's a synchronous, it's gonna go one by one, but when you use Swifter, you could do it asynchronously, multiple at a time. Okay, and I also created a column called text, which is basically the headlines plus the short description. So I just created a text, which is which is which is what I'm gonna you know put that on the machine learning model. Uh, with that being said, uh, things are pretty easy and simple here. Uh, I took the x data uh, for the x. I I I, I took uh, text, polarity, subjectivity, and length, and then I took the category, which is we have to predict that. So I'm using a label encoder to encode those labels. So basically in numbers, uh, did a train test split, uh, did a model, created a pipeline uh, with a count vectorizer, uh, TF-IDF transformer and multinomial NB. Uh, I, I said dot fit method on that. So I, I, I want it to be, you know, trained. Once it's trained, I decided to test it out. So I took the test data. I, 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 I said that, hey, predict the, categories for the test data. So for example, this one, it predicted style and beauty, which is amazing. For this one, it predicted the world's post. That's pretty good. Now I wanted to print out the accuracy. So I commented the predicted versus the whitest and I got an accuracy of 55%, which is not that bad actually, if you see. Then I give it a sample test, uh, sa sample news, for example, the George Floyd uh, death, remember? So I wanted to see, hey, what, what what is it coming up with? So I said, hey, model, predict the category. And then he said that, hey, it's a politics. That's amazing. I saved the model uh, to my computer uh, with a pickle file. And uh, you can then, once the model is saved, you could convert into a REST API and, and stuff like that. Again, I tested out with the saved model. You can see that, the pickle file. And the model predicted perfect. Hope this is useful. Uh, if you did enjoy this small uh, machine learning uh, tutorial, uh, let me know in the comments. And the Jupyter Notebook is there on the GitHub blog. Oh, sorry, it's there on my blog section. So I hope you would check that out and uh, let me know if, uh, what you think about this. So that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If so, do give a like and see you guys in the next upcoming videos.